Hello, Mr. Stoller here. So today we have got um for grade 10, we have uh the uh the parabola and also a linear function in one graph. Okay. Now um on, on one set of axes. Okay. Now what do we have here that we have got the uh, parabola, it's x squared, negative x squared plus four. And the linear is g of x is equal to mx plus two are uh, sketched. A and E are the X uh, intercepts of B and D. So here we've got B uh, X intercepts of, okay, X intercepts of, uh, what is it? Uh, let me just see here. Uh, A and E, X intercepts of F. Okay. So let me just add there. Okay of f of x okay then here b and d are y intercepts of f and g so b and d b and d are your y intercepts of uh f and g respectively f and g intersects at a and c so you see that the intersect a and c now the first question is saying determine the coordinates of b and d now b and d now i just want to to rewrite the equations here so we've got uh, f of x is equal to negative x squared plus 4, okay? And here it's going to be g of x is equal to uh, mx plus 2. So what are these uh, 4 and 2? What we know is that this 4 is uh, the what you call a vertical shift, vertical shift. And we expect to see this as also the y-intercept. So this is y-intercept. And your two also is the same thing here. It's also your y-intercept. So that's how you pick up these values. So what is it that we're saying here? B, we are saying it's going to be equal to uh, 0 and 4. Okay. And then here for, for, for D, it's going to be uh, 0 and 2. Okay. So that's what we're talking about then. Just, we just pick them from the graph. Uh, we know that from the general equation, which is equals to uh, f of uh, f of x is equals to ax squared plus q. This q is our y-intercept, okay? So that's what we need to know. Now, let's go on to the next question here. Write down the range of f. Now, when we talk of range here, range is set of y values, okay? Set of y values occupied or that can be approached by, uh, what is it? That can be typed also by graph of, what is it? Uh, graph of f. So graph of f is this hyperbola. So we are saying the set of y values that can be approached by this uh, by this graph are actually below four. So any value below four are going to be approached, but anything above four cannot be approached by this graph that we are seeing here. So here in, in this case here, the range is going to be equal to uh, y less than less than four. So it's actually like a y less than or equal to because it's coming, it's starting from four going down. Okay. Then let's move on to the next one. Determine the length of AE. Length of AE, we have got A to E. But how do you get AE? How do you get AE? What you can do here, the quickest method to do to do to do this one here is that we can find uh we can see the equation that we have here. We find the x-intercepts of our f. So x-intercepts of f, how do you get the x-intercepts of f? X-intercept is when y equal to 0. So what we expect is that we say is 0 is going to be equals to uh, negative x squared plus 4. We take the negative there. It's going to be x squared is, is equals to 4, then x is going to be equals to plus minus uh, uh, root 4. So here it means that x is going to be equals to negative 2 or x is equals to 2. So what we see here is that this here is going to be negative 2, 0, and here is actually uh, 2 and 0. Okay, so now we're saying uh, what is it? The length of AE. Length of AE is only change in X, change in the X. So it means that the length here, 
So the length here is going to be equals to 2 minus minus 2. What do we get? We get uh, 4 units. Okay. So that's what is the, our answer there. So it's 4 units. So here, what about the calculate the value of M? M is a gradient. M is a gradient. So here is a gradient. But in this case here, we don't need to use the gradient formula, but we can substitute the values, okay? We can substitute the values that we have. So here for M, we're going to say, okay, our graph is, our equation is Y equal to uh, MX plus two. What can we do? Let's substitute one of the coordinates that your our graph passed through. So we can either substitute negative two and zero, or we can substitute are uh, uh, zero and two. So let's try to substitute zero and two. Uh, no, sorry. Let's substitute zero and uh, what, negative two and zero. We cannot substitute uh, this uh, this one here for x because x go to zero. So we won't be able to find m. So in this case, we're going to choose only this a. That is going to be the one that we use. So we're going to use negative two and zero. Okay. Let's do that. So it's going to be zero is equal to uh, negative 2m plus 2. Then we take the negative 2m there. It's going to be 2m is equals to 2. Then we divide by 2. Okay. Then we get m equal to 1. Okay. So our m there is equal to 1. What about the uh, 4.5? Determine the coordinates of a and c, um, put the point of intersection of f and g. So we already have our a. Okay, let's just solve this question this on the next uh, uh, clean sheet here. Now here we have got, um, so the graph of, okay. So now we have the equation now. We have the equation of uh, F. So F is equals to negative X squared plus four. And uh, G of X is equals to uh, X uh, plus four. 2 since our m is equals to 1 now we by equating these two graphs we are able to find uh, the point of intersection so you equate the the two equations to find the point of intersections you equate the the, the two equations it's going to be negative x x squared plus 4 is equals to x plus 2 then we take this this side it's going to be uh, negative x squared um, uh, minus x, uh, what is it, uh, plus 4, minus 2, which is going to be equal to 0. So here, in this case, going to be negative x squared minus x, uh, what is called plus 2, equal to 0. Okay, so in this case, here, we can sub uh, multiply by negative throughout. So in this case, it's going to be uh, fact out negative, it's going to be negative x squared plus x, minus 2 equals to 0. Then let's try to find the factors there that we can have, okay? So the factors there is x. We have got x here. The factor that we have here are 1 and uh, negative 1. So it's going to be negative 1 and, uh, and 2, okay? So those are the uh, two factors uh, that we have equal to 0. So in this case here, we are saying x is going to be equals to x is equals to 1 or x is equal to negative 2 so this here is actually our a so our a is negative 2 here and 0 we already found that one but what about the one here we come here and substitute uh in the graph here in any of the graph so let's see here g of x is going to be equals to uh a 1 uh, plus 2, which is going to give us 3. So in this case here, our C is actually uh, 1 and uh, 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 3. That's the, the two uh, points that we have there. Okay. There we have also. Now, the last question here is saying, if Kx is equal to G negative uh, X, so what is it that we are seeing here? Kx is equals to g negative x. So this here, like functional notations, where we are substituting for, for negative in our g of x. So here, g of x, so it means that, uh, let me just see here, our kx is going to be equals to uh, negative x plus 
two because where there is x, we are substituting uh, a negative x. So in this case, that's going to be negative. So in this case, what it means, it means that this graph here is going to pass through, through uh, what is it, through uh, d and also pass through uh, what you call e. So in this case here, we are having an a, a, a straight line again here that is like that, okay? And now the question now comes and say, determine the values of x such that f of x is greater than or equal to g of x. So we are saying f of x, this graph here is greater than this uh, g of x or equal to, uh, what is it? Um, equal Or equal to uh, what you call k, kx. So here we are going to say, this means that from this point here, to this point here, to this point here, our f of x is above g of x. That's what it, that's what we see here. So we can see that our f of x is above g of x. Okay. So from this point here going forward, there we see that g, f of x is below uh, g of x, and also here we see that uh, f of x is below uh, g of uh, k k x. Now we are going to find what is the value here. Now. We need now to bring in the symmet the symmetry because remember this one here it's actually symmetrical here along x equal to zero so it means that this value here and this coordinate here is actually just a, a reflection on the what is it along the y axis so what we're going to see is that this point here we don't know this point but this point here is going to be equal to uh what is it c and c here is going to be just negative one so there's going to be change of uh, x only but the three will remain the same. Then this point here, we already found it, which is equal to uh, two and zero. Okay, so in this case here, where is the graph above above uh, what called a kx? So coordinates, so the points where this is greater than or equal to kx uh, from this point here. So is this region that, that we're talking about here? Okay, so this set of values are from uh, negative one, okay? less than or equal to x less than or equal to uh, uh two that's what we, so we are including the equal or equal to because they also say where is greater than or equal to okay that's why we included that okay so i hope you guys understand until next time thank you so much